Health officials are investigating the outbreak of a dangerous intestinal illness. It's popped up in at least nine states so far. NBC's chief medical editor, Dr. Nancy Snyderman, has details on that. Nancy, good morning to hey, you. Hey, Matt. This outbreak comes from a little parasite called Cyclospora, and it can get into the food stream. And when it does get into the food system, it can spread from person to person when they eat contaminated foods. So far, the number of cases is relatively small, but it has popped up in several regions around the country, and doctors are on alert. The cyclospora parasite can be nasty, causing flu-like symptoms that can last up to a month. And doctors say this outbreak is spreading. We're having to do multiple different um, diagnostic tests to be able to isolate this particular parasite. And there seems to be only one antibiotic that's effective. Doctors haven't identified the source of the current outbreak or even whether these cases are connected. But cyclospora is most commonly spread by contaminated fruits and vegetables. Shopping for produce, this Connecticut mother now wonders if cyclospora made her daughter sick. My daughter was at the pediatrician yesterday for severe stomach cramps and nausea. So far, according to the Centers for Disease Control, at least 275 cases have been diagnosed in nine states from New Jersey to Texas. At least 10 people have been hospitalized, most of those cases occurring between mid-June and early July. Symptoms include diarrhea, loss of appetite, nausea, and fatigue. In Texas, Paul Littlejohn believes some grapes may have made him sick. Those are them. When his symptoms persisted, he asked his doctor about it. And he said, yeah, there is a, uh, an intestinal bug going around, and so you probably have that. But in fact, these symptoms can be caused by a number of illnesses. To know for certain if you have the cyclospora parasite, you need to see a doctor and get a specific test. This is an endemic illness, that is, it's just occurring right now. So people need to be concerned, but there's no need for panic widespread. I was a little surprised that it's getting so much attention with only 275 cases, 10 hospitalizations. Right. Are officials concerned this can spread rapidly? In some cases, the numbers are going down. In some cases, there's, uh, there's an uptick. And I think because we're coming into fresh fruit and vegetable time and people are still importing uh, a lot of produce, not only across state lines, but from other countries, that's a concern. I just want to make sure I understand. You get it from fruits and vegetables right. that have been tainted. Once a person gets it, can that person transmit it to another person? Most likely, if you don't wash your hands, yes, but it's usually ingesting contaminated fruits and vegetables. So once you wash your hands and rid yourself of it, it's not a problem. One antibiotic works, but it is an old school antibiotic and it works well. Not a high death rate in this case, but people who are sick are really sick. And if you, you know, thoroughly wash the fruits and vegetables, can you take care of this? You can. And I'll tell you, this is one of those times, know where you're buying. You're not going to get this most likely from your local farmer's market. A lot of times these things come from other countries. So read those product labels well. And even when you get those pre-washed greens, don't believe it. Wash them, Wash again. them again. All right, yeah. Nancy, thanks very much. You Good to night. see you.